Ladies and gentlemen, it's Design Slider. Microsoft has officially announced the end of support for Windows 10 starting from October 2025. This might be the end of Windows 10. So if you're still on Windows 10, you should watch this YouTube tutorial because you have to upgrade your Windows 10 to Windows 11. Here's a quick peek into the beautiful world of Windows 11 that you can enjoy on your computer. We are not going to use the popular way of using a flash drive or USB memory stick to do the upgrade. Things you'll need for this process. A good and stable internet connection, a good battery level or power connection, and patience to follow my steps carefully. The first step is creating a virtual disk. On your Windows 10 Start button, right mouse click and go to Disk Management or search for Disk Management from the Windows Start Search. When the Disk Management opens, go to the Action tab at the top here, then select Create VHD. When the dialog box opens, click Browse for Location, then go to This PC and select Local Disk C. Click Open. It will ask you to name the file. Name it as VHD and click Save. The virtual disk size is by default on MB, which is megabytes. Click the drop down and change it to GB, that is gigabytes. Enter any size from 8 gigabytes or higher. I will put 18 gigabytes. The virtual hard disk format should be on VHD. Select it and click OK down here. You will see an unknown disk with the gigabyte size we selected is here. Right mouse click on it and select Initialize Disk. In the Initialize Disk pop-up, select GPT, GUID Partition Table, and give it OK. You will see an unallocated memory here. Right mouse click on it and select New Simple Volume. On the New Simple Volume, click Next and Next until you reach the Format Partition. The volume label should be renamed as VHDX, then click Next and Finish. Ladies and gentlemen, we have successfully created our virtual disk for the installation of Windows 11. Now you can close the disk management. On the desktop, go to File Explorer, navigate to This PC, and you will see the virtual hard disk we created has appeared here. The next step is to download Windows 11 using Rufus. Open any browser of your choice and go to this Rufus website. Here is their website address. Trust me, I have put the link to land on this page in the description of this YouTube video. This is the interface at the time of recording this tutorial. It may look different later, depending on how they update their website. Scroll down to the latest release and pay attention to type and platform. Just find the hypertext or button to download RUFUS for standard Windows X64. Once the download is completed, go to the Rufus file you downloaded and double-click on it to run Rufus. I hope you are still following my steps in this journey. I advise you to follow my steps carefully so you don't get lost. Actual, very clear steps to follow here. If prompted, allow Rufus to check for applications online. Yes. When Rufus opens, it will automatically pick the virtual hard disk that we created, but just in case the VHD does not show up automatically for you, come to this small drop-down here and select the virtual hard disk. Now, for the boot selection, upload your Windows 11 ISO image file. If you have already downloaded the Windows 11 ISO file on your computer, click the Select button to get it from the location where you have downloaded Windows 11 ISO, double-click to pick it or select it and click Open. Now, if you don't have the Windows 11 ISO file already on your computer, come to this tiny drop-down arrow next to Select and change to Download. When the download is picked, you need to click the Download again. It will ask for the version of Windows that you want, and of course you and I know that we have to select Windows 11, and let's click Continue. 
When it asks you for the release version, select the latest version. This is the latest version that came up for me. When that is selected, let's click Continue. Next, choose the Windows 11 edition that you want and click Continue. For language, I advise you to select the same language as your current Windows 10. I mean, the same language on the Windows 10 you're using now is what I advise you to select here and click Continue. For the architecture, select X64, then click the big download button. It's going to ask you where you want to save the Windows 11 ISO file, then click save. Now the download should start. Wait patiently while the download is completed. As a good tutor that I am, I want to help those who may have problems with using Rufus to download Microsoft Windows 11 ISO. If you're having problems using Rufus to download Windows 11 ISO, then you will have to download it from the Microsoft official website. Go to your browser, any browser of your choice, and go to this Microsoft page. As always, I have put the link in the description for you to land on this page. When you get here, scroll down to the section where you see Download Windows 11 Disk Image ISO for X64 Devices. Select Windows 11 Multi-Edition ISO for X64 and then click Download. The next thing you would want to do is select the product language. You should choose the same language as the one currently in use on your Windows 10 computer. Now you can proceed to download the Windows 11 ISO file by clicking this button. Pay attention to the folder where it will be saved. Note that the file is over 5 GB in size, so you should be ready for the heavy file download. Now I hope you can remember how to put it on Rufus. I already showed you earlier in this tutorial. Use the Select button to get it from the download location and upload it on Rufus. For those who used Rufus to download Windows 11 ISO, when the download is completed, it will automatically be added under Boot Selection. Optionally, if you feel you want to change the Volume label, you can just change it to Win 11, then click the big Start button. Rufus will allow you to customize your Windows installation. I recommend and advise that you select the first option. Remove requirements for 4GB plus RAM, Secure Boots, and TPM 2.0. Just to be on the safer side, you may simply just select all the options. For the local account username, you can leave it or change it to your choice. I'm going to put my brand name, Design Slider Tech. When you're satisfied with everything here, give it OK. This warning pops up saying whatever we have on our virtual hard disk will be deleted. Since it's an empty VHD, let's just give it OK. The preparation to install Windows 11 on your computer should start. Rufus has completed the prep for our installation. We are done with Mr. Rufus. Goodbye, Mr. Rufus. On your desktop, go to open File Explorer. Under this PC, you will see that the virtual disk we created now has Windows 11 in it. Double-click to open the virtual disk, and you will see the setup file. Double-click to run it. Then click Yes to open the Windows 11 setup. First, click on Change How Setup Downloads Updates. Select Not Right Now and click Next. You just have to accept Microsoft Software License Terms. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are still following my steps up to this point, I am proud of you. You are one of my patient followers who will always get successful results. Are you done? <laughs> are you seriously, seriously done? Don't worry, we are almost done. Under Ready to Install, select Change What to Keep. You may choose to keep personal files and apps while you upgrade to Windows 11, or you may choose to keep personal files only, or choose to wipe out everything and make your computer freshly new with Windows 11. Select your choice and click Next. Then, click Install. Windows 11 will now begin installing. At this point, I believe you should be able to complete the remaining steps without me. I bet it is very easy for you to continue with your own preferred settings. You can do the rest on your own. You can do it! You can do it! Oh, yes, we can! And yes, we will!
Let's clean the installation junks and cache from your computer. On your new Windows 11 desktop, open File Explorer to this PC and check to see if the virtual hard disk we created has disappeared. If it has not disappeared, right mouse click on it and select Delete. That is not all. Go to Local Disk C and you will see the VHD file. Right mouse click on VHD and Delete. Lastly, go to where you downloaded the Windows 11 ISO file and delete it as well. Congratulations on your new Windows 11. Would you let me know your experience in the comments?